top story tonight. Out of tragedy, something good can occur. Starting today, the Ashley Verdon Memorial Barrel Race begin to not only honor Ashley's memory, but also help those who share her love for barrel racing. That's right. And KRBC Scott Cook spoke to Ashley's father about keeping his daughter's legacy alive. It's been two years since a tragic accident happened in Ballinger. I'm Juanita Adame in downtown Ballinger. This town was recently rocked by the tragic death of 17-year-old Taylor Bowman. Ashley was riding her horse just a couple of days ago when the animal became spooked. It bucked the young girl off and trampled on her head. In honor of Ashley's memory, her father, Lynn Verdon, started the Ashley Verdon Memorial Barrel Race. That she's still, you know, above us and watching over us and everything. And, uh, I know she's smiling, so she's very proud. I'm now in its second year at the Taylor County Expo Center, the memory of the talented teen still continues. She was very uh, passionate, very dedicated, uh, uh, very um, uh, strong-minded, strong-willed person uh, who cared a lot about people. In life, she touched the heart of those around her, especially her favorite riding companion. But yeah, she gets she she got real depressed right after. I mean, she wouldn't eat, uh, uh, drink for probably about three or four days. It's very tough. It's a uh, they 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 have the same feelings kind of as we do. And even now, as she looks down on us, she can be proud knowing that others are still being helped in her honor. I just wanted to give back a little bit, you know, and help some of the help some of the other people. You know, they're in the same situation we were in. So the proceeds from this event are going to be turned into scholarships. They're given in scholarships or donations to the MBHA. Reporting in Abilene, I'm meteorologist Scott Cook, KRBC News. This is the second annual Memorial Barrel Race. It's held at the Taylor County Expo Center and will continue over the weekend. Last year, they raised around $21,000. Well, the 